last 10 the last chapter you are going to learn is chapter 10 programming in c plus plus the last last class we have already learned introduction to c plus plus now we will just start with the programming in c plus plus right so programming in c plus plus you can much relate it to c groups character set which you already learned in c alphabet sandwiches and special symbols then tokens tokens means some keywords or meaningful words it can be keyword constants identifiers operators variables and punctuators I know all of you know the meaning already. Keywords means some reserved words. Constant value has not changed. Identify the variables. A is equal to B. Like that. Operator means the operator is plus, multiplication, division, or modulus operator. Then variables. And then the function names and the punctuators. Yeah. So all these we already encountered them in C. So keyword they are given you examples like these are the class, private, this, try, daily, all these are keywords which has a meaning along with them and these words you can use it as a variable names identifiers mean variables template class functions all name and all these fonts under the identifiers constants variables and data types data types in c plus plus same as c yeah just a few modifications are there constants mean value does not change variables mean the value where variables are names that points to the memory location of the stored data and can change how you declare a variable? Just have a look at nothing changes, right? Integer, age, semicolon. Same like this, you have to declare it for C also. Data types, user defined over there, der derived over there. The same types. Integer character float, double floating point. All the same types you have learned in C also. Yeah. That's why I told you C where once you're comfortable with C, C plus C T C for you. Data type conversion. That is a bit like it's a new topic for you. Implicit conversion means automatically when it gets converted. If you are writing, let's say if you define something as integer, even if you write 4, it will automatically take it as 4.0. So, or like if you are over here, can you see 5 plus 3.25 is getting trying to calculate. So, what happens is 5.00 plus 3.25 gets calculated. It is done by the compiler implicitly, automatically it does the conversion. The other way around, if, like f is equal to 3.14 is given integer we are telling int of f so the other values gets trunked trunked off trunk rated means this 1 and 4 gets deleted off but only 3 will be taken because we are telling f should be an integer if it is an integer then only one value 3 will be taken into account that is type casting you are converting a given type into a data type specified by the user then we have operators and expressions it's almost the same as C. You might have gone through automatic operator relation, operator assignment, operator logic, operator increment, conditional, and special operator. All the operators are same as in C. Yes. So they are given a program. Instead of in C, related to C and learn, so it's easily understood. I use stream.h over here. And over there, it was studio.h. Then we constantly write the program. We are defining the DT integer, sum and average. Then C out means print statement and the value. So this value gets printed. Then C in means our scan statement. So it will read the value of A and B. And again it will print the value of A and B over here. Similarly, of this program is to interchange, which means swap. First A and B's value is initialized. Then C out the value of A. We are giving new values. Then we are doing the functional swap functionality. And the value getting swapped. Here also the program is find the area of length and breadth. So first length and breadth is called. It is perimeter and area length and in print. C out for printing. C in for reading. And the header file is I used to run. But the other things remain the same. Then the control structures. Over there we have learned if else switch cases right. And also for loop, while loop, do by loop. Similarly over here also the three statement. For while, do by loop. If else switch cases are also applicable. Yeah. So the functionality remains the same. The how you read the only the C out and the header files changes. Yeah, hope the chapter was easy for you. Since you have learned definitely, since you have learned C, C plus will be much easier with this. We are winding up the chapters of class 10.